Welcome back to the Daily Buzz 716. We're continuing our conversation with certified health, fitness, and wellness coach Maureen Kameny. I want to say that I think we kind of rolled quickly past some pretty amazing stuff in the last segment. You've climbed Mount Kilimanjaro, mm -hmm. you've run the Boston Marathon, mm -hmm. and you visited, theme here, Nepal. <laughs> We've got, and we have so some you, pictures, don't we? we? Let's see those yeah. pictures so that we have of you, and you can tell yeah. us what we're looking and at. To me, that is just so amazing. And after your accident, so what are we looking yeah. at here, Maureen? Well, in Nepal was just a couple of months ago. I, um, in a sense, am so you might also. Have seen, did you see Chelsea there? Did I you guys did. See? I just think that's so amazing. Oh, that no, I mean in Nepal. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you didn't no. find friends in Nepal. No, I didn't see Chelsea in, in Nepal. But I am also an essential oil advocate advocate, um, educator. Mm -hmm. It just ties in so well with helping people live more naturally. And, mm -hmm. and with my clients, we work a lot with living more naturally. And the company I work with doTERRA, they have a huge humanitarian component and they give back to the communities from which they source the oils. And wintergreen, which I actually just brought here so you can smell it, wintergreen is from an area of Nepal that was heavily devastated by the 2015 earthquake. Mm -hmm. And these communities is that what's on her back? are devastated. Is that, is that's that me actually oh, that's with a you. big basket of wintergreen on my back. Uh, <laughs> so we, I, I was really fortunate, doTERRA takes a small group of people and we went to build a school wow. in an area that was really devastated. And this is this picture here, the people, the whole village lined the street to greet us. It was like just the most amazing experience I've ever had. Okay. It was just so unbelievable. But we were with this community for uh, several days. Uh, we didn't build the whole school, but we certainly got it started and, and got several feet up. So it was, it was amazing. It was really Life. a trip of a lifetime. Yeah, yeah. life changing. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Um, why do you think so many of us, well, I guess we, we kind of touched on this, that we struggle with first achieving, and you talked about one step at a time, yeah. but then maintaining the healthy lifestyle? Again, people t take, uh, take on too much. They don't have a plan. They don't make it a priority. And also, uh, journaling and keeping track is so, so important. Oh. And there's an With, app for that, right? There's so many apps, right? <laughs> so many there's, of your clients are women. Yes. And us, all of us up here are mothers. What would you say to women that have so much going on? I know you talk about with, with health and diet, mm -hmm. taking one small thing and growing at that, or, or growing with that. What do you say to mothers out there that have a thousand things going on? How do we pick those small things out? Well, actually, if you... I do have a free um, quiz on my website that breaks it down to, with fitness, nutrition, wellness, and, and their website is MaureenKemeny.com. Okay, go and ahead. And each major area has ten questions in it, and every one of those questions can be a goal to take on. And what you do, so for example, one of the might be I drink enough water. You know, mm -hmm. I drink eight to twelve. Well, do, the, and there's. A, questions you answer no not at all or somewhat so let's say that's your goal well then you look at your your where you are currently how much do you actually drink like track it for a few days how, very easy just does herbal tea count as water yes okay yes. thank you herbal tea does count as water <laughs> yes and track it okay i'm taking in one glass okay so my goal for the next coming week is going to be not the 10 to 12 glasses or 8 to 12 it's going to be two glasses mm -hmm. Is that doable? Everyone can say yes, okay. Mm -hmm. You do two glasses for perhaps a week. Mm -hmm. And then when you are consistently doing that at least 80% of the time, then you move on to three glasses a week, et cetera. So it took me, when I remember going, I'm not drinking enough water. It took me six months to get to the point where it was automatic. I don't ever have to think about it now. And that's okay, it doesn't have to happen overnight. But just that was 20 years ago I took on that as a goal and I'm still doing it 20 years later. And those little things really, really do make a difference. It's the integration it sounds like that that is what makes it something you can maintain. Something that you can maintain. Someone may say, I don't have time to do my exercise today. Any exercise. And that's so important, exercise. It's so important. So. And that happens to me too, and I'll say, okay, well, before I get in the shower, I'll do a few push ups. And Period. I've done something. You've done something. She does push ups. And there are ups. simple things you can do, right? Like your core exercise ball, your stability ball. 
Absolutely. Okay, we have a video, I think, of you with the core exercise stability oh, okay. ball, right? Yeah. Let's see. Do we? That looks easy. But well, I was I was going to say when I'm working with people, that's not where you that's no. not where you start. That's not where you start. But, but the part of it, it's not so just important. the ball. It's it's holding yourself stiff. That's the ultimate there, right? planking. Right. You are. Yeah, it is a plank. Yeah. That's, and you you are a strong woman. Well, but I if you. <laughs> Do a little bit, you know, over time. How long did anybody it take to, can do it? How long did it take really? you to get to where you could do that? Well, I've been Please doing. Please don't it, say twenty years. I've been doing it for so long that no, I tell I've me a week eight. and a half. You can do it. <laughs> I have clients when they come to me, they cannot do a push up, and we start with the wall. You know, you do a push up off standing, just pushing off the wall, and then when that is clear you move the feet away to make it a little harder and harder and harder then we go to the knees and then we go mm -hmm. to full like people get there people who start ha with never having done a push-up can do push-ups mm -hmm. it's just a matter of progressing now last year I was in a, I was introduced to oils and as a breast mm -hmm. cancer survivor someone brought us oils that would help our scars mm -hmm. oh yeah um, can you explain some of the benefits of oils outside of that because I didn't realize that oils were such a big deal they so are, aren't they? I've been using essential oils for a long time, but it wasn't until recently when I really was trying to help myself with a health issue that I realized it, an oil isn't an oil, that um, there's a lot of oils out there that have a lot of fillers and synthetics in them. And what you put on your body gets absorbed into your body. So it's very important that you're using a pure, pure oil. And I started to use them for myself. and for a lot of different things, it, they're really helpful in removing the toxic load from your environment. So for example, chemical cleaners in your home. I just use essential oils like lemon and, and melaleuca, which is tea tree. And as cleaners? As cleaners, yeah. Instead yes. of. Instead yes. of, so there's no chemicals that I'm putting into my environment. Also, the skincare products we have, the skincare industry mm -hmm. is so unregulated and there are so many ingredients in skincare that are banned in the European Union and are not banned here. And there is a link between what we put in our body and what illnesses we get. And so by removing skincare products that have scents, synthetic scents and chemicals, I replace, I use essential oils, like you probably smell them on me now. I just use like a fr fractionated coconut oil with uh, essential oil in it and I'll use that on my skin and on my as like a moisturizer or as a moisturizer or as perfume even because perfumes have a lot of um, chemicals in them so I'll use a pure essential oil. Do you have other fl other uh, scents besides Lifesaver or Wintergreen? Lifesaver. I'm going to get Lifesavers when I go home and just start. No? That's there no. are many many uh, okay. many for <laughs> all different yeah. Right. Just you don't mop right. your floors with oils. I use vinegar and water. On okay, that would be dangerous. That's <laughs> <great. I'm laughs> okay. We want to thank Maureen Kameny for being with us today and sharing her expertise and bettering our health. We have to take a short break, but coming up next, a local event to support kids in need of school supplies. Stay with us.